This demo shows the central limit theorem. So let's consider a continuous variable whose population distribution looks like the black line plotted in the top plot. The population mean and standard deviation are indicated here. Clearly, this population is not normal. Now let's run an experiment where we measure this variable 27 times. Okay, so in this experiment, there are 27 measurements. If we plot a histogram of these measurements shown in the red in the top plot, the shape is similar to the population distribution as we would expect. Now let's take the average of these 27 measurements from this experiment and plot the mean in the lower plot. If we increase the number of experiments but keep the number of measurements in each of these experiments the same, we can generate a histogram of the means of the measurements from each experiment shown in the blue in the lower plot. Okay, so the central limit theorem says that these sample means will be normally distributed with a mean equal to the population mean and a standard deviation equal to the population standard deviation divided by the square root of the number of measurements. And this will be true if the number of measurements is approximately greater than 30. Okay, so let's fit a normal distribution to these sample means and display the fitted mean and the fitted standard deviation. Okay, and we can now compare the fitted mean to the population mean and the fitted standard deviation times the square root of n to the population standard deviation. We can define the number of experiments and the number of measurements with the slider bar, and we can clearly see that when the number of measurements is greater than 30, visually, right, the means of these measurements from each experiment follow a normal distribution as suggested by the central limit theorem.